This video has been done as an assignment for programming language and design concepts. In here, we will be discussing on functional programming. The contents of our video. Functional programming. First, we will give a brief introduction on functional programming. Then, we will discuss on purely functional programming language scheme. And then we will do some questions on scheme. Now we'll be discussing the list function. List function construct a list from a variable number of parameters. For example, if we give as list apple, orange, grape, we'll get the output a list containing apple, orange and grape. First, we will be discussing on functional programming. Functional programming language is based on mathematical functions. It is applicative because they achieve their effect by the application of functions. There is no concept of assignment in purely functional programming. Also, there is no problem of side effects. Now, we will be moving on to the advantages. The main advantage is that there is no aliasing problem in functional programming. Then it can be used for parallel machines easily. It is another advantage. The main disadvantage is that there is no dedicated hardware generally implemented with interpreters. Now we'll be discussing on scheme. Scheme is a dialect of Lisp. It is a purely functional language which was developed in MIT in 1975 by Sussman and Steele. Scheme is generally used for teaching purposes. It uses static scoping. Scheme permits two types of objects, lists and atoms. There are two types of atoms. They are numeric atoms and quoted string atoms. Numeric atoms are these 28 and minus 14.23 and for a quoted string atom this is an example. List is a sequence of atoms separated by blanks and parentheses and these are two examples for lists. A simple list is a list that doesn't have a sublist. For example, the 1, 2, 3 list is a list without a sublist, so it is a simple list. And the ABCD example, AB is a sublist, so this is not a simple list. Numeric atoms and primitive functions. In scheme, there are arithmetic functions such as plus, minus, multiplication and division. To perform arithmetic on a content of atoms, scheme uses the procedure as plus 2 5 so the output is 7 and plus 2 5 7 you get the output of 14. Scheme does not have any precedence rules for its math operations, so to control the order of computation, we have to use parentheses. Now we'll see how a function call can be written. Function call can be written as operator, argument 1, argument 2, argument n. So you can write for a single operator, you can have more than one argument. For example, 2 plus 3 can be written as plus 2, 3. This is an example for the function calls written. In here, plus operator can take any number of arguments. And this line is the same as 2 plus 3 into 1 plus 2. In here we have used parentheses to control the execution. 
the code function calls the interpreter not to evaluate data so it returns data without a chain code plus two five can return the list plus two five so instead of using code AB we can use apostrophe AB comments begins with a semicolon and continue up to the end of line so define by 3.4 semicolon binds a variable to a value means that binds a variable to a value is a command scheme ignores the distinction between uppercase and lowercase so you can use either uppercase or lowercase to define names in scheme names can use letters digits and special characters except parentheses and names must not begin with a digit now we will convert some mathematical functions to scheme first we will do 2 plus 5 into 7 minus 3 to write it in scheme we have to use the following procedure first we have to add 2 plus 5 then we have to substitute 3 from 7 and then we have to multiply the two outputs that's what we have done in here now we'll see how we write the following formula in scheme we write it like this it's a bit complicated but you have to start from the base case and go to the out finally dividing the output from 2a then we'll see how we define functions using lambda expression it's like this when we're using lambda expression we don't have to give the name of the function we are writing we can write the same function using the following procedure now we'll see how to write functions in scheme to define a function we have to use the following procedure first we have to say define then the function name the parameters we are going to use in this function then the expression to output functions we can say display expressions or new line now we can see how to write the if condition this is the procedure we have to use to write the if condition if predicate then expression and the else expression this is an example for a if condition first we have to define give the function name and the parameters we are going to use n and then the if expression and else expression now we'll be moving on to con function this is a multiple selector based on mathematical functions to write the cond we have to give the predicate 1 then the expression predicate 2 then the expression we can write up to predicate n numbers and we have to finally state the else expression now we'll see an example using cond function in here we have used compare function to explain the use of cond function first we have defined the compare function and given the parameters as x and y then we have started the cont function the first predicate is that greater than x y so if this expression is true we are giving the output as x is greater than y less than x y and if this expression is true the output will be given as x is lesser than y and else if the both predicates are false we are going to give as 
x and y are equal as the output. Now we'll see the use of car and CDR. The car function. Car function returns the first element of a given list. For example, car ABC returns A and car ABCD returns AB. The CDR function. It returns the remainder in a given list after the car has been removed. CDR ABC returns BC and CDR ABCD returns CD. Now we'll see the cons function. It is a primitive list constructor. Builds a list from two arguments. First is either an atom or a list. The second is usually a list. Inserts its first parameter as the new car of the second parameter. Cons A empty list returns A. Cons A B C returns A B C. Cons car list and C D R list returns an output which is identical to list. Cons A B returns A dot B. Now we'll be discussing the list function. List function construct a list from a variable number of parameters. For example, if we give as list apple, orange, grape, we'll get the output a list containing apple, orange and grape. EQ function takes two symbolic atoms as parameters. It returns true if both parameters are the same, otherwise it returns false. EQ A and A returns true since both atoms are the same then EQ A B returns false since A and B are two different atoms. EQ A A B list returns false. Now we will be moving to EQ V function. Test two atoms for equality when it is not known whether they are symbolic or numeric. EQ or equal is faster than EQV function. Then the list function. It returns true if single argument is a list, fold, other. Null function tests its parameters to determine whether it is empty and returns true if it is otherwise false. Null a B returns false since list A B is not a null list. Null empty list returns true since the list is empty. Null A returns false since this is an atom not a list. Null list with an empty list returns false since there is a sub empty list.